Hello everybody, in this video we show how you can control and monitor your LG ThinQ devices via the TV Home Dashboard. The Home Dashboard is available on WebOS 4.5 and later versions. Via the Home Dashboard you can connect with mobile devices, control the TV inputs and outputs and you can connect to Home IoT devices including LG ThinQ devices. Before you can add ThinQ devices to the Home Dashboard, the devices must first be added to the ThinQ app on your mobile device. On our YouTube channel you can find videos about how to add devices to the ThinQ app. In this case we have already added an LG refrigerator, a robot vacuum cleaner, a dryer and a washer. And in another home we have added two LG air conditioners. To add these ThinQ devices to the TV Home Dashboard, select Connect Home IoT Devices and then select LG ThinQ Devices. Now you have to sign in with your LG ThinQ account. You have to use the same sign in method and the same user account as you use in your LG ThinQ app. To see the account name in the LG ThinQ app, go to the app settings and select Profile. Enter the account details and select Sign In. Now we can see the same devices on the TV Home Dashboard as we can see in the ThinQ app. In the ThinQ app, we can monitor and control the ThinQ devices. Depending on the device model, some of these functions are also available in the TV Home Dashboard. In this case, for this refrigerator, we can see the current temperatures. For the robot vacuum cleaner, we also have some controls, such as starting the robot, pausing the robot, check the status or let the robot go back to the home station. For this dryer, when we start the dryer we can see the remaining time on the home dashboard. And also for this washer, we can see the remaining time. With the air conditioner we can switch on the device. We can change the operation mode and other controls, such as changing the temperature. To change the home dashboard settings, go to settings and then select edit. Here you can edit the list of the home IoT devices as they appear on the home dashboard. You can change the order of the devices or you can hide the devices on the list. Also, you can set device notifications. When the notification setting for a device is on, you will see a message on the TV when the device operation is completed or when there is a problem with the device. To remove the ThinQ devices from the home dashboard, go to settings, select the ThinQ account and then select sign out. The ThinQ devices are now removed from the home dashboard. This is how you can control and monitor your LG ThinQ devices via the TV home dashboard. For more help, contact your local LG help desk.